It's a McDonald's. This is the farmer's face. Yeah, we're just just go down and wait on it. We just wait. We can let you turn around. Do you know this country's going to shit? Yeah. I know you don't. Your people like you, lads. People like you. You're the problem. You're the problem. Problem. Good morning viewers, we're at the Tickled Trout just outside Preston on the A59 northwest of England. And why are we here? We're not here to enjoy a Scottish steak, maybe later. But uh, there's a farmer's mark, not a farmer's mark, a farmer's protest. No farmers, no food. You may have seen it in Germany, in France, in Canada. Farmers kicking off with the bureaucratic elites that want to make life very difficult for them. And uh, we're very early. But there's people arriving. We'll bring you more. No farmers, no food. That's the one. There's more people arriving now. We got a gentleman here with the red rose of Lancashire. He's going to retake the English crown. Go on. <laughs> FBI, get out of the way. <laughs> I like it. Net zero nonsense, destroying farms across Europe. And as the slogan is correct, no farmers, no food. Hope the viewers have seen these protests all around Germany, France, all over the world. Spraying manure on the Palais de Versailles. Spraying manure down the Champs-Elysees. Taking big barrels of shit to shovel in Berlin. And now it's in England. Okay guys, we're here with Harry and the Tickled Trout at the Preston Services. Harry, where have you come from and why are you here? Come from Salisbury, Wiltshire. Uh, here today to support the local farmers for the no farmers, no food sort of protest. And um, trying to get a turn of people come out and support the local community because the government are doing them over. And uh, you know, we need people to come out and that's why we're here. So we come from Salisbury. And at the minute we've got a few people here. We've got a good couple numbers. And then we're just trying to get it rallying up. And uh, yeah. Thanks, Harry. Some more farmers have turned up with the hounds of protest. Good to see. Thank you. Hello, boys. Come here, doggy. It's not a video on my channel without some good doggies. Look at that. Two A dogs. Excellent. So, if I may please ask for a quick sound bite, why are you here? Uh, I'm just. I'm into um, how. The farmers are working so hard, and um, the point of how much they're not making. You know, I mean, they give or take, uh, this is a guess, my opinion, they're making something like 30p a pint, but it sells for £1, pound, £1.50, pound yeah. and they're not making anything. You get up at 3 o'clock in the morning, um, milk the herd, look after them, feed them, and then go out again at the same time. So you're working about 14 hours a day for, give or take, a quid. Yeah, it's not fair. So farmers are on the edge all around Europe, all oh, around the world. Completely. Thank and you uh, very much. No, go on, go on. I, I, I just think it's not fair. It's not. Thank you, sir. No. Hoot, hoot, it's the sound of the police. No, I'm not driving, guys. Don't get mad at me. Okay, we've just been to the Hesketh Arms looking for the tractors, they've not arrived here yet, but we do have Lancashire PD. They're starting to come around the car park and there's, oh, everywhere, the police are getting nervous because uh, what they don't want is for people to spray very liquid, smelly cow shit all over the police station or all over a local government office. God save our gracious king. Hello, look at that. The dogs have come out in the Frisian cow pattern. The lady, as you saw earlier, she's in the cow pattern. And the hounds of truth are here. Uh-oh, law, enfor law enforcement's arrived. They know me. They, I'm getting the wave. I'm the unofficial mayor of Preston as well as Manchester now. Here we go. <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> All right, here we go, guys. Our first tractor is a nice vintage Ford effort. Why tell when I can show? The Ford 6410 Mark III. Pressure here. You've got all the big lenses. And uh, the Red Rose Lady. Go on, Red Rose Lady. Go on, I'll hold it for a sec. Look at that. Oh. I am now officially a Lancashireman. I am a Lancashireman. That's it. To hell with the White Rose. 
We'll take the English crown. <laughs> Back again. First tractor, he's done his lap. He's doing his lap. Go on, son. Whee. One of many, I hope. The Rosers are here. So we got the police liaison in the blue bib that gave me the wave. We've got, oh, it's the more uh, Lancashire PD in the Peugeot. That is a nice shot, actually. I'll get involved too. Here we go. It's a group, eff group effort here, guys. We're going to get the no farmers, no food going on every car here, every pickup, every van. So uh, he's done a good job. As you can see, fellow um, aerodynamics will know that he's put that one to stop the air getting in it and throwing it onto his windscreen. And. Uh, it's like a 70s policeman, look at that. Magnet. Hello, madam, no farmers, no beer. Yeah, no cider from cider country. No cider from, thank you very much. Cheers, look at that, no farmers, no beer, no cider. You must be from the West Country down there. I live down there. Good stuff, thank you. <laughs> we passed the, the first tractor of hopefully many to arrive. And I just want to have a quick look at the undercover police car. The police! How are you guys? Hello. All good? Yeah, these are also police and I don't know why they're undercover. Why are they undercover? Oh, what are they up to? Brand, brand new Volvo. Yeah. Undercover. Yeah. Stop talking to it, please go. Tractor to go on, dude. New Holland tractor. Here we go. Oh, 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 what's going on? Here we go. He's, he's, he's neither here nor there. He's got the blue bib of the police liaison. What's in it all now? Yeah, he's... He's trying to go for no entry. He, oh, oh, he was about to go up the no entry, wasn't he? Oh. The police are bored. They are doing laps. Uh, laps to look at the, the dodgy, scary farmer terrorists. The Great Danes are great. And I want to show you the, the rear Great Dane. Look how he sat. That's a relaxed doggy. Look. No farmers, no food, no future. Thank you. Guys, it's officially ethical. The red tractor has arrived. Here he is. Everybody gangster till the red tractor turns up. Go on, mate. Just walking up to the main road, the police have uh, parked at a funny angle. Just want to see if they're worried about something. Great name for a service station. Tickled Trout. And the police, he's perched over there at the roundabout because... Who wants annoying farmers protesters walking up to you and chatting to you? That's boring. So, uh, oh, Drone Man, I've missed the launch. Where is it? Oh! I can't believe I missed Drone Man's launch. I came here specifically to film Drone Man and his launch. Anyway. I'm gonna be like Phil Carson's from uh, Libra Chemicals. <laughs> I withdraw my consent to be governed by any corrupt, compromised, belligerent, criminal parliament or government. I will not comply. Quite right. Great Dane man, he's uh, sitting down on the owner. Doing well. So, uh, oh, he likes you. It's not every day you get a lap dance off a Great Dane. But... Oh, especially a male one. Especially a male one. It's 2024 after all. It says, oh, look at that. They're sponsored by my bosses, YouTube. Look at that. YouTube police car. They're, uh, they're still looking for trouble, but it's a whole bunch of um, countryside farmers. There's no problem here. Every beep you hear is in support of the farmers. Go on, give us a beep, mate. Go on. Honk if you agree. Back British farming. Well, I'll give you a honk, honk. Honk, honk. Honk, honk. Honk, honk if you hate sir. Go on. <laughs> Eat, sleep, chop, repeat. <laughs> Love it. <laughs> Come on, let's get some honks. Come on, white van man. Hey, knew it. Oh, funny side effect. Oh, there goes my umbrella. Anyway, side effect. 
Everyone's beeping here, right there. It's Sunday morning. You've got the McDonald Hotel. All the Saturday nighters trying to sleep in and honk, 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 honk. Everyone from the Chickle Trout, the gathering, they're all coming to the road. Quite a good turnout. We're here on the road coming out of Preston, everyone doing the honkies. And I'm surprised the police haven't come around here yet because all these grown-ups will need to be told that they can't stand on the edge of the road because it's too dangerous. Sorry, adults. You've got to be policed. No farmers, no food. Basically. Marley. Marley, hello Marley. Look at it. Okay, he wants a belly rub. I, I know when dogs do that, what they're after. Go on, Marley. He wants a sticker on his nose. Do you? <laughs> yeah, Marley. Cute. Look at that, Marley's got no farmers, no food. I got it. Don't you worry, I got it. Mother's Day 2024, fighting for future food security for my children. Some proud Lancashire children. Are you supporting the farmers today? Nice. Tell them, tell them about no farmers, no food, you're saying. Go on, Marley, what is it? What were you saying? You want camera shy? Oh, yeah, he's, he's giving me that look. You like. camera shy? Anyway, for the viewer, the dog. Oh, wait, he was talking. Oh, he's yawning now. He has a lot to say, usually. The dog was full of opinions a minute ago. It was, it was probably protesting. <laughs> Yeah, quite a good turnout. Pretty good. Pretty good. The police are gonna honk for them. Come on, give us a honk. No? Go on, drone man. Where is he? <laughs> yeah, watch the lamppost. Jeez, watch the lamppost. Will we get a beep from the cops? Come on, come on, policeman. Give us a beep, go on. Just a little beep. Oh. Come on, 280 to Clitheroe. Come on, Clitheroe bus man. Go on, bus man. No. All right, check out. There's going to be a, a guy with a special horn coming. Listen out for the special horn. Yay! Oh, wow. Okay, so, Harry and I... We're in the van. We're gonna go have a look at this uh, little side of the road, honky honky. Funnily enough, in there, there's a uh, motorway police headquarters just outside Preston. Oh, there's a police Volvo, average speed check. It's the long road into Preston. Maybe, just maybe, they've had issues with the... Uh... Right, let me hang out. Oh, the, the police are getting upset. Might not be for us, though. No, no, there's just so many cops. The second one, he just, he just turned off his uh, flashy flashes, but there's a lot of cops. All right, here we go, a little drive-by. Road, but tensions and frustrations are running high, and so it could be imminent unless the governments in all four countries of the Albion, England, Ireland, Scotland, and Wales are willing to sit down with the elected farmers to adhere to the considerations of taxation and dispense with the shenanigans that are taking place in Westminster. So, uh, he, he drove past with Darude Sandstorm a minute ago, and you heard them with the other one. But check out the wait a minute, where is it? Is that the Compressor. So uh, we've just been discussing whether this is a working tractor. It might just be a vintage classical, you know, classic tractor monthly. Kind of a um, middle, what do you call them? Centerfold. <laughs> Centerfold spread. And he's got his little fairy lights all around his rim. It's nice to have a nice uh, fancy rim. People, people appreciate it. And uh, they sat there earning, you know, if I was a policeman, I'd be like, yeah, I'll, I'll go and supervise the countryside people. They're not going to kick off. They're not going to climb up any national memorials and statues and scream anti-Semitic slogans or what have you. Ah, the countryside. So, uh, I'm going to try and be clever because of the copyrighted music. 
but you got the Peugeot 308. He's going through the car park collecting all the license plate numbers of the attendees because then you can get the the names and addresses of all the people. Is uh, it just driving through collecting all the license plates? That's it. Oh look, a dangerous megaphone. Uh -huh. He's still collecting the license plates of all the attendees. The Tickle Trout Hotel very kindly said people could park in the in the car park, so he's collecting all the numbers. They're going to be still, still collecting all the license plates. Coming back now, nice and slow. Okay, just another look back. We'll come back to have a look at the tractors. Would have been nice if more farmers brought their tractors, but hey ho, it's a start. Three tractors is a lot better than no tractors. So I had a chat to the one police liaison officer saying he should come out and shake hands, kiss some babies, pose for some photographs. Um, you know, chat to the protesters, but instead, uh, he says he will, but his colleagues are just driving around still taking license plate numbers down, which is a bit, a bit stazzy, a bit so, a bit KGB, a little bit uh, modern, modern policing, which we don't like. All right, we've got down there. There's a license plate boy. You've got all oh, the undercovers are back again. Nice to lock them up for a minute. They should, as I as I said in my last segment, come out of your police cars, come and chat to the people, see what they've got to say. Don't act like some sort of I don't know Homeland Security or Moscow KGB security. So by popular demand, hello ladies, hello sir. By popular demand, the blue bibbed uh, liaison officer is out chatting to the people, having a chat, talking, hello, 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 having a chat, liaising with the people, hello, you are the people. Is he liaising well with you? Is he doing a good liaise? Good man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Good man. So these are, hey guys, you weren't, you weren't getting everyone's license plates number in the car park, were you? He's like, oh, no, nothing, I was not taking anyone's license plate number. Together at last, the Skoda and the Ford. Harry, I told you not to oh, fall over. Look oh. at that, he's all messed up. He's run someone over. He has hit someone. Look, <laughs> Crumple's owner's crumpled. That's all getting arrested, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> Wait, he's left his iPad on top, look. Check it out, it's a solar panel on top of his sirens. That's not How good eco. Though. It's got moisture in it. Oh, he's got the moisture in it. Oh. Nice looking vehicle. A, a pity I'm traumatized by getting pulled over by the undercover version of this on the M58 outside Liverpool. Traumatized. Go on, mate, reverse into the police car. Only joking, only joking. Don't sue me. I'm not, in, not inciting or glorifying violence here. Of course not. Don't do it. Convoy time! Convoy time. Is that a tractor? Yep, good, 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 good. Where's my tractor at? There he is. There he is. Oh, yeah. So uh, we're on the convoy and uh, so far, so good, being left alone. No catch up. We should slow down a bit. Well, it's well okay. we're on the slow uphill into Preston. There's uh, police at the back of our convoy. There's police looking at the convoy. I'm going to do another stick it out of the window, try not to drop the camera. Onto that. Yeah, you can't really see it because we're at the front. Three tractors, about 20 cars. Here we go, we're going around the roundabout in Preston. The convoy. We got all the people. Yep, all the people with the yellow stickers. Way. Here they all are. Every car here is for the protest. Woohoo! Here's the, here's the undercover cops in the Volvo. Hello, lads. Here's the license plate grabbers. And my favorite, he's actually a very charming guy. He got his little red tractor as a retirement gift. Thank you for visiting the, the city of Preston. Can you give us a Darude sandstorm? Oh, hey! <laughs> they will catch us up. That distant Darud sandstorm horn. It gets me going.
There he is. Hell yeah. Yes, bro. I am Charlie Beach. How you doing, guys? Thank you. Yes. Under. Oh, careful of the under. He put his blues on. We're getting pulled over. We're getting pulled over. Oh, look, they've, oh, they've, they've shot blocked it down. It. They've shot it down. I'm going to jump out, get some shots. If I may. Harry, I'll see you back at the thingy, okay? Yeah. Cool, I've got to get some shots here. Police are not allowed! Hello, Hello mate, how are you? How are we? Are we not allowed to go around one more time? Just one more Are you part of the... The, yeah. the tractor thing, yeah, 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 the farmer thing. If you wouldn't mind, just letting us clear these, and then I'll see, I'll see about getting you through. Beautiful. Yeah, that right. sounds reasonable, thank you. All we want to do is make sure he's done safely. Exactly. No, that sounds very reasonable, thank you. Yeah, of course you can. Let's get a photo. Look at these handsome people. Come on, Jolly! <laughs> Thank you, guys. Oh, Cheers. Sip. Yeah, we're gonna. They're gonna clear the road for us. We're gonna go around again. Uh, top mark, Sri Lankashire PD. They're actually facilitating the farmers' convoy. Basically, up to roundabout up there, and then we're gonna come yeah. back and, Arms. and then stop back there, mate. Right. So these people walking. Right. Are they? Are they planning to go back in there, do you know? I, I think they're, yeah, so, they're just yeah, going to go yeah. back in there, yeah. They're not going to go to so, the Hesketh Arms, no. What I'll do is, yeah. I'm going to stop the traffic here, yeah. and your convoy can then go back up to the Hesketh yeah. Arms. Yeah, and then turn back around, come back down to the Tickle Trout. Mate, okay. sounds Thanks, mate. Well, Cheers. Yeah, no, that's perfect, mate. No, thanks for that, buddy. So that all my colleagues are aware. No worries, we won't move. Yeah, yeah. Send you up there, and then you get stopped by someone else because people don't. Yeah, no yeah, worries. Nice it don't one. make sense. Cheers, buddy. Appreciate it. All right, gentlemen, Lancashire PD. Uh... Yeah, time for roller rolly. So uh, while the police clear it out to make it safe for the tractors and the walkers and the slow, there's a red tractor at the back. Red tractor, a farm assured, kosher, halal, and whatever the Christians have. It's. Yeah, we'll slow down, yeah! Harry, we got to slow down! You can ride around, so you go walk, literally walk. Yeah, just walk. Walk, it's like five, mile, five miles an yeah, hour, we'll do five miles an hour, yeah, yeah. The officer's waiting for his uh, colleague to close that one. He's just radioing it through. He's got his taser on in case it kicks off. <laughs> oh, traffic chaos! I'll tell you the irony, it wasn't this chaotic until the police decided to get involved and assist us, now it's... Chaotic. And there's Red Tractor, he's on the other side. Can you see him, viewer, center screen? There's Red Tractor. Not long to go now. And soon we'll be off again. So, uh, the cop man, friendly cop man, is uh, being assisted by some civilians. National Highways Traffic Officer. For the international audience, you may not know, that is not a cop. That's a highway officer. Traffic officer. Dealing with crashes, breakdowns, road closures, geese on the motorway, horses on the motorway, crackheads, overhead passengers threatening to jump down onto the motorway. Those are your boys. Oh, people getting angry with this. I wanna drive forward, sorry love. No farmers, no sirloin. I can't see down there, but yep. apparently there's some people on foot around there. As soon as as soon as we can account for their safety, what yep. I don't want to do is let people start moving because you will get people that start driving up. Like they will get, yeah, they will get. Oh, what's going on? All I've explained at the minute is just because we've got people on foot in the carriageway, yeah. we just yeah, bring all the traffic to a stop because what we don't want to happen. No, no but what you do now, no, what you do now, I'm helping the safety agency. You're, okay. create, you're creating a safety issue. Okay, we well, to, I'll take that on board. Yeah, thank you. I appreciate, I appreciate that. It's all good, guys. We're doing. Ooh, ooh, it's the sound of the go. Oh, they're all over the place. It does feel naughty being stood here, but oh well. It's for a good cause. Oh, pull start, pull. St
Go on, give us a quick Darude sandstorm. Go on while we're here. All right, there you go. Love it. <laughs> All right, so on one of the tributaries into the main river. Come on. Hello! Get on here. Look at this guy, he says, one. no farmers, no food. No farmers, no food. I'll tell you what, though. The police assistance has made our protest about a thousand times more powerful. We're winning here, aren't we? We are, you know, the, but the police help has actually yeah. shut down half of Lady Lancashire's motorway. So, uh, more visibility, more disruption, but not like Just Stop Oil. This is, this is, this is a wholesome, a wholesome middle-class disruption, which will be cleared in a second. People like, oh, civvies, normies are like, what's going on, mate? We tried to drive. Just trying to drive, and there's like all these bloody protesters. Even Polestar man in his uh, personalized license plate, he's like, I just want to go. I just want to go. <laughs> Even the cars in front of the cop car aren't allowed to go. No farmers, no food. That's it. Oh, here we go, here we go. All right, where are we going? I'm going to take you. If yep. you want to follow me, you yeah, we'll follow you. Yeah. Yep. Right, okay. Cool, me. we'll follow you. Let me get back in the car. So, uh, one month after being followed by the Skoda in Liverpool and getting a ticket. No, actually, it was just like this. Follow me. Follow me, he says, and we will. And it's nice to not get a ticket. Speaking of tickets, I got an angry letter from Merseyside Police saying you've not submitted your driving license details. I was like, okay, so I've submitted. I thought it was done automatically, guys, but it's not. How archaic. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. No. Oh, it's also friendly until the until Officer Body Armor decided to join in. Hey, mate, you all right? Hey. Yeah, good. They've abandoned us. Yeah, We're all by right. ourselves. <laughs> they have their own They've left us. All right, guys. You want the drinker out? Oh, we might oh that's oh. very nice. No, it's no, okay. We're right. good. Thank you, though. Cheers. Thank you, though. Very that. cool. Cheers, pal. You uh, bands up your dirty at the back, mate, as well. I don't know if you want to give it a quick clean. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> if I've not cleaned it in months, it's going back in two weeks. So. <laughs> Someone else's problem. Yeah, that's the one, mate. Cheers, pal. Policeman joking about the dirty van, so he's going to wash it for us. <laughs> clean. So uh, we're on the main drag, and uh, people have uh, have done a proper blocking of the traffic. You can't park there, you can't park there sir. Hey, you can't park there, bro. Hey, you know we police ourselves, don't you? Come on. That's it. Oh, let me get some shots of this tractor. Here we go. Look at that. This is how they do it. Honk honk! Come on! Good on ya! Go on! Hey! Hey, go on, farmer! Hey. Look at that! <laughs> the cars don't mind. It's for a good uh, a good cause. This is the farmer's face! Can you blow the fuck it? Yeah, we'll just go down and wait for it. I'll get out of here. We can let you turn around. Do you know this country's going to shit? I know you don't. Those people like you lads. Just shut up. People like you. Don't worry about it. 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 Don't worry about it.
I'll tell you what though, this is going to be, it's going to be a 5-10 minute disruption. It's a Sunday, 5-10 minute. No, yeah, but I'm saying there's cars that don't take photos. Oh, no, no, it's press. Don't worry about it. It's a no, public it's, thing. I don't want a photograph. No, 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 it's, it's just a quick soundbite. What do you think of the farmer's market? Oh, come on. We're all proud of our faces. Go on. He's an unhappy potato farmer. Unhappy potato farmer. Because we're not doing a rolling block out according to him. I'm just explaining it. We're actually flying with the police. The police have stopped us. I'm sorry. Come on, Giles. You should get behind the farmers. He got a police liaison. He did, he did liaise in the end, so he did, he did alright, he did alright. You got the people in front of us, you got the farmer's pickup, a couple of guys in the road. The angry, not the last one, not Farmer Giles, but the, the guy in the black car that was kicking off from his black car. He's been boxed in by two tractors and the pickup up the front. And so, moral of the story is, don't kick off with the farmer's uh, protesters. They're only trying to grow some veggies and uh, raise some cows. Pigs, geese. Thought I'd come and join some of the the walkies. Here's it. I joined the walkies. Just so you guys know, I'm, I'm I'm filming, so don't say anything too spicy. All right, so we'll have to drop the geoengineering conversation. Oh yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I overheard something about Semtex that weak infrastructure points, but no, just let's cut that conversation. No, just GMO seeds. Yeah, GMO seeds, yeah. It's my friend Harry in the second one. Let's do a little, I'm running, so it's not going to be that stable. Here's the farmers. Farmers everywhere. Pretty good going actually. I think this black car is the angry guy. Yeah, he's been he's still here. Angry guy, yeah, it's him. He's well upset. <laughs> Again, apologies for the wind noise, it's uh it's a bit windy. But we're coming back now to the to where it started. Here we go. This is the way it goes. Who would have thought that this is a new symbol of European resistance. Here's a chief inspector, yellow bit, yellow lapel, three brass pips. Is, uh, we've got brass uh, top brass, top brass of Lancashire, he's out. Oi, 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 oi. Look at all these dangerous farmer terrorists. Yeah, hello. hello. Go on, farmer. You know what? On this occasion, the police have done very well. They've enhanced it, amplified it. That's the big kahuna. Hello, big kahuna. <laughs> Chief inspector of uh, Lancashire PD. So I think this it's going to be the first of many. Big problems all across Europe with governments treating farmers badly. Now, what I do know is that farmers are one of those archetypal professions that everyone loves. Like firemen. You saw the support for firemen after 9-11. And uh, farmers, unfortunately, are suffering very high suicide rates right now. Look it up. They're getting squeezed. They're getting disrespected. They're getting treated like scum. And one thing I'll say is you, you don't you don't mess with the farmers. Everyone likes a farmer. This is Charlie Beach at the Tickle Trout Services outside Preston. Sunday, the 10th of March. <laughs> 